we don't want to end up prosecuting people for animals having suffered in any way or died. Obviously our role, our job, we're here to prevent that happening and the problem is this is just all too predictable at the moment. We know how hot it is at the moment. I'm sweating now in the shade in central London. Inside a car, inside a conservatory, inside a rabbit hutch in a garden in direct sunlight are all places where if animals can't physically move themselves to somewhere cooler to be able to cool down to cool their body temperature, they will essentially cook and they will die. Well, a car is the most obvious place in the sun where everybody knows it gets really hot really quickly, but I think people don't realise how hot it gets and how quickly it gets hot. Literally within minutes, even in temperatures of, say, 22 degrees, and it's much more than that today, in the shade, the inside of a car could reach something like 47 degrees in 20 minutes. I think everybody knows that you shouldn't keep a dog locked away in a car in, in warm weather. That's a given, I think. We've campaigned for years for that. The problem is, when it comes to the actual incidents, people don't seem very good at assessing the risk. And they think, well, I'm only nipping into the supermarket for two minutes. Two minutes will be too long for some dogs, and they will die. And thinking, just drop the window by three or four inches, and that'll be enough. It will make no difference at all. Putting a bowl of water on the floor in the footwell will make no difference or little difference. At the end of the day, if you wouldn't leave your child inside a car because of weather conditions, you should not leave your dog in it. Any animals you own, you need to check and think, can they get shade? Can they move to shade to somewhere cooler? Is there a breeze that they can move into? And have they got water? It is absolutely critical. And don't just think about at home common problems we see are where somebody says oh well we're going to the school sports day so let's take the dog that'll be fun only when they get there do they realize actually i can't take the dog out of the car because they won't let me same could happen at the beach you're then faced with that difficult decision kids are going to be disappointed if we don't go we better leave the dog in the car but we'll put the windows down just don't do it plan ahead and make sure you know can you take your dog out where you're going in the last 24 hours, 200 calls that we've received about a whole vast range of, of animals and incidents right across the country. We know our colleagues at the Scottish SPCA are investigating another possible death of animals up in the Highlands. There was a case last week down in Chichester where uh, this lady walked off and just uh, to go for a walk, left a dog in the car, lost her way, came back, dog dead.